it's here. I've got a box, it's quite heavy, and it is filled with the logic of English. This is something I'm super excited about opening with you. As you can see, it's kind of already open, but I have not pulled the things out yet. So stay tuned to see what is inside of the logic of English. Hi, I'm Sarah of mom of two bilingual little boys and our family does bilingual homeschooling. If that interests you or family life in general interests you, then hit the subscribe button and the bell notification because I make videos like this every week and I'd love to have you join our community here. Today's video is all about the logic of English and what is included in their program. This is something that I as an English educator, a person who has a license in teaching English and has studied this in college and has done this for years and um, love I love the concept of the logic of English and I'll explain to you why but first of all let's take a peek at what is inside of this box because I'm really excited to see it okay here we go so we have some packing material and um, this is well packed and when I said it's heavy it is heavy Ooh, there's quite a bit in here. So these are phonogram game tiles. Um, we can make different words with them. Oh, beautiful. Um, this program comes with a variety of handwriting options, and one of those is cursive. Uh, these are tactile cards, so you can touch them. They have a texture to them. They include lowercase, uppercase, numbers, and strokes. I love this idea. Um, I have another video all about uh, sing, spell, read, and write, and um, what we're doing for our handwriting program, um, because that's another kind of language arts program. Um, we're also doing sunlight, which includes language arts, so my kids are getting exposure to a lot of different language arts programs, but I'm planning on this being more of our um, handwriting program mixed with um, kind of helping them with some very important phonetic uh, concepts basic phonogram flashcards. So, a lot of games. So phonogram game cards, uh, in cursive, and book face. I think I did have to choose to add this extra. I'll have to check my order, but I think I added one of these extra. I don't think they both came with it, um, but that's a great option for just consistency and, and handwriting. This is Doodling Dragons, an ABC book of sounds. I'm not sure again if this came with the curriculum. I will check again with the curriculum and insert a note here about whether it was included or separate. Doodling Dragons is the alphabet with the various sounds of each letter. So you're actually learning all of the sounds together, which is something I really appreciate about this program because my sons will be learning two phonic systems, English and Portuguese, and getting them a good foundation in understanding one language and its exceptions and its rules and all the different sounds it can make is super important because they work similarly in their alphabets but quite a bit differently in their sounds. So um, this just looks so fun as well because, oh, it just looks fun. <laughs> the illustrations are very cute. And here is the foundations book. So this is a cursive workbook for level A. And I believe this is the very first level. If not, it's one of the first. Um, and you're making compound words. We're talking about compound words, doing handwriting practice. These pages look very blank to me right now, um, but I'm sure I'll understand after I read the instructor's um, instructions. Um, and you're going to be matching book face to cursive. I think this is such an important concept, especially as kids are learning to read because learning book face G versus cursive G, or even just like normal handwriting G, um, can be kind of confusing. I had um, English learner students in the past who would ask me things like, what is that letter? Um, so confused. So this is great for building clarity, especially if your kids are bilingual 
are going to be learning multiple languages. Learning how those languages write their letters is so important. Um, okay, so it looks like they go through pretty quickly from letters to like blends and handwriting is included throughout all of it. So that's the cursive workbook. There's also a board. Um, this is like a whiteboard texture and it's rather large, like you can see against my hand. Um, I do have kind of large hands, <laughs> just to be clear. Um, I'm five foot six, so my hands are not the tiniest things, but there are multiple lines on the back. That's awesome. And um, the rhythm of handwriting. Okay, so this is going to be giving you a strategy for writing each letter. I like this because this is similar to handwriting without tears, and you give like a sequence. Swing up to the midline, down to the baseline, pick up the pencil, dot. Um, this is good because saying it out loud as you're doing it builds understanding and ability. Um, just students learn through lots of different modes um, and using all of those modes is excellent practice for each student no matter which one they prefer. Um, so there's a that's a handy guide. Um, here we have a phonogram and spelling rule quick reference. So these are great things for the teacher to quickly reference, but also I can picture my boys liking this in the future, referring back to this once they are able to read a little bit more. Um, but look, it gives a thorough rundown of the letter sounds. As an English teacher, I love this because you're starting from the very beginning teaching them the sounds to even things that you would assume as a person, as a parent, as an instructor, don't have any rules to them, but they actually do. Um, so just, I, I love that about this program. It is going to teach you probably things that you as a parent did not know about why, why we use DG, DGE at the end of a word and not a J sound for the J sound and not just the J itself. And, um, yeah, it's, I'm excited to go through this with my boys. I see a spelling analysis. Okay, so that's like a quick reference bookmark. Um, and here is the teacher's manual. Okay, this is actually pretty large. I believe it is. Okay, this is a hardcover and the student's edition is a paperback. Um, but they're about the same size. You can see, actually, the teacher's one is quite a bit bigger, which shouldn't be super surprising. But um, this is the teacher's manual for level A. And it's definitely durable and um, good quality. Okay, so it's going to give you a list of supplies that you need. What grade is this for? This is for children ages 4 to 7. Uh, who lead, need to learn the foundational skills of reading and writing. Um, it can be for kindergarten, they know, but it can also be for first or second grade. I'm planning on using this in kindergarten because my boys will be learning two different alphabets and phonetic systems, and so giving them a start earlier with a lot of um, time for repetition before it's absolutely necessary for them to be at a certain point um, in school or whatever um, can just help us feel more relaxed about it. So I'm actually maybe going to start with them before kindergarten. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated about that and how we like this program. Wonderful. If you are a teacher, you will appreciate this scope and sequence um, and an outline of the assessments. Um, it includes different categories. So cursive handwriting category manuscript handwriting, spelling, comprehension and fluency, vocabulary and composition. This is a complete language arts program in itself as well, just like um, several other programs. I, Like I said, I do have a video on Sync, Spell, Read, and Write, and we're going to be using these kind of in conjunction. Um, one reason why I have so many programs is because in the future, we are not going to be in the U.S., so we're not going to have easy access 
to these resources. So I would rather take a lot of different resources and have different options at my fingertips than, um, than realizing that something's not working for my boys and not having any other option and just kind of having to make it work or to create something entirely from scratch myself. So we are going to be maybe, um, using all of each program, maybe using a bit of each, maybe supplementing here and there. Um, I have also looked into gentle and classical curriculum, um, and we have, like I said, sunlight curriculum. So we're going to be doing a whole bunch of language arts, and I'm emphasizing that so much, well, number one, because I enjoy it, but also because my boys are learning two different languages, and they're gonna need that emphasis. Okay, so back to this book itself, um, handwriting. It's going to give you instructions for that. Now, this does not look like it's going to be um, extremely open and go. Um, like, you're going to have to find your your spot. You're going to have to go over the lesson before um, the student, you give direct instruction um, with your student. But that's just kind of my first impression of this. Um, I do think that after a while it would become more intuitive as you're looking through it, but it's divided into lessons. How many lessons do we have in here? I think that we have around 40 lessons. I'm guessing that's 40. So those are all the books that were in the box. Let me just give you a few thoughts on this program now and some reasons why we've chosen this program when we have so many other resources as well. One thing that really drew me to the logic of English is that it's very logical. So it explains a lot of the rules and also um, makes it a little more intuitive for students to learn why things are the way that they are in English. I also was drawn to this curriculum because I want to get to the upper levels of the curriculum. It explains grammar very well and logically and also the phonics and everything. It's a complete program for language arts. I don't plan on using this for any type of reading instruction or that kind of thing. Instead, that is going to be from our main curriculum, sunlight curriculum, and also through bilingual book choices that we have, but it is a very good start for and future for grammar, phonics, and handwriting. So I'm really excited about that. I appreciate about the logic of English that it also involves games um, because I love games as an adult and little kids learn a lot through play. So um, having different games is wonderful and having the option of cursive and manuscript and book face as options for handwriting um, at this level of just learning the letters and things and sounds is wonderful. I first looked into this logic of English because I had heard that it was very concrete. It gave a very thorough explanation of different rules and it starts from the very beginning not just naming the letters but actually calling them by their sounds. So as a bilingual family, one of the things we really want to emphasize with our boys is language because they're going to be learning two different languages. Just giving my boys a very good foundation in the rules of each language and how we use different letters and the exceptions there but also things that people think are exceptions but are not really exceptions, they ha do have explanations to them, is going to be really helpful for them in the future. It can be confusing sometimes when I look at teaching two different alphabetical systems and phonetic systems and I want to get more of a grasp on this. If you have taught bilingually and two different alphabetical systems, phonetic systems before, please comment below. Tell us your best resources, best tips. I would love to hear those. And in the future, as we go on this journey, I'm planning on sharing the things that we discover with you. I plan on making a video all about our various language arts and handwriting choices and how we're planning on combining those all together. When I make that, it will be linked in this video and in the description box below. Uh, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't yet done so, hit subscribe and the bell notification so that you will see when that comes out and it was great to chat with you guys today for more homeschooling and bilingual family and multicultural family videos check out these playlists and videos right here and i will chat with you guys again next time good to see you love you guys ciao